Nor was Stock Spalding Barebone Broadcasting. I want to bring up a subject. Got nothing to do with what we've been talking about. It's on the news all the time. Anyhow. Let's call it the, the immorality and the failure of crotch. Human crotch. C-R-O-T-C-H. Crotch behavior. Let's bring it all out. I I want to talk about, before we get into the so-called sex or breeding aspect, how about urinating? Or the other, stool. These are both crotch behaviors that I find extremely repulsive. I wonder, what in Sam hell is wrong with the moron that built me? That I have to go through that. That is disgusting. You are an idiot. Creator. The brains of a cosmos. And I'm going through crotch behavior of urinating and stool. May you get it someday, Lord, for it. That's for sure. And as evolution moves on, hope to God that gets fixed. How in God's name the human anatomy ever moved to that certainly must have been a very band-aid solution to something far more superior. Let's get it going. Because that is asinine. Isn't it? Now let's move on. The worst behavior of crotch behavior is not child to adult, which I think is repulsive. No two ways about it. Only when you want to talk about child to adult behavior, two adults rubbing their crotches and producing a hum, very vulgar. To produce a human that way, drag them through that, bring them that horrible insult to their whole integrity, the whole process, then bring them to an atmosphere of jading them is inexcusable. Crotch behavior. And they do it at a rate the ignorant do it more than the intelligent. The intelligent refuse to do that. The ignorant can't wait to do it by the handful. Idiots. Breeding faster than flies on a carcass. What a bat. With no more knowledge of what the hell's going on than a fly somewhere with this planet breeding on a carcass that's rotting. Human. Dumb. What made it possible, I will be a rage forever. No matter what I get to the bottom of. When. In this life or any. Know that. You are worthy of more in possibility. That is for sure. Crotch behavior. Now let's move on. Adult to adult cross behavior and cruelty is exceeding adult behavior cross behavior to child to adult. Again, very vulgar. Only the adult behavior cross behavior in sex, adult to adult without any children or just adult to adult is violently vulgar and vulgarly violent in many cases. I wonder how who ruins your touch experience? That you could drag your groin through something else in your anatomy experiencing violence. Maybe your insides or your outside, you wear leather and carry on. Are you an idiot or what? Is that what the word rights has done to your mind? Because somehow your crotch and the ability to act like a complete stupid idiot has engulfed you, your mind. And I overhear about it. I won't watch it. I see glimpses of it, and I, and I, I, that's about what I know of it, and I don't want any more to know about it. I let my imagination run a little bit until I start telling it to shut up. And that's enough to know to come and chew your rear end out the good. That you would live on this planet and drag your crotch and you're insensitive to your anatomy through such asinine behavior. You are a moron. Of course it's your business. I think all these things are your business and none of mine at all. Only they do, or they are the business of the existence of the globe. And they aren't just kind of fun to bring you out and go, you're like standing on top of that totem. And I'm Ace Ventura. And with my help, you could be the best. You know what I mean? That's what's going on here right now. Nothing more. Keep a sense of humor. Stand on top of the totem. I'm just trying to get you to be the best. You know what I mean? Because you are really got a problem with your groin behavior and your violence with it, with each other. You are an idiot. 
I think you should have to do that in the public square. And the thing is, some of you are so proud and you're so stupid, you'd like to. Well, I'd like to turn the children loose, making a mockery of you in any way they possibly want to. Tomatoes, egg, whatever they want. And don't you touch them. Maybe what they would do is mock your parents that you exist instead of you. So you go to the public square and do this stuff, and they'll go find your parents and start egging and tomatoing them for being dumb enough to genetically produce you. How about that? I'd like to see that happen to a lot of behaviors here that are sneaking around, fooling around with their groin. That your parents would be brought out and humiliated till they die. Like bulls at a watering hole. Why not? Want to keep it up? Somehow there's got to be something sensitive to you. I'd like to find it and get it in front of you. I someday, if I find the maker of this and the dream chamber that built this, certainly will and shall know that. All this behavior is humiliated in your maker's dream chamber. Very much to everything else in that maker's dream chamber. And we'll just see how you like it. I'm looking forward to it. I know I will applaud myself there. Yay, Norman! I'll say that a lot. I don't know what you're going to be doing. But I'm going to humiliate a lot of possibilities going on here with every intention I have now as state's evidence. How about you? I like human. How dare anything drag human through this crap? Now we'll get to child. i got to make sure child to adult cross behavior. You are decadent. And I don't know, the pictures I see of these people that are supposed to be child to adult cross behavior are so vulgar, who a child would crawl on that individual's lap is staggering. You show me people that I most... Ch I want to use myself for example. <clears throat> I admit, they don't have any problem calling my... I say they don't have any problem calling your... Children usually don't have any problem calling lap. Only those people I know they do. Most people child crawl on your lap. The individual you show me that the children crawled on their lap and they did something bullying the child, most, they don't look like everybody else. They don't. They don't look like me. They don't look like you. They don't look like anybody. Why would a child crawl on their lap? That doesn't make sense to me. I'm always astounded by that. As much as I don't look like everyone, I do. A lot. Now, and you look like me a lot. I look at you. You look like you've been through what I've been through. When these people you show me to get these child to adult crush behaviors, they don't look the same. Once in a while, like this guy's on the 10 and 1 last day, he looks the same. And he's supposed to be a cross behavior guy. Only the ones you show me in the paper, man, they're weirdos. And no kid's going to get near them. I was like, what's going on? Something weird there. Really weird. Because most children I know wouldn't get near that guy. they got too much brain. They're not going to get seduced by that one. And what you're talking about is weirdos seducing kids. Now, I don't know how the hell they're doing it. I can see how the clever looking and the traditional looking could do that. Anybody that doesn't look traditional, most children will leave alone. Do you want to bet? I know when I was a child, you didn't look traditional. I wasn't around it much. And I would have dared a priest to follow me as an older boy. Man, that I missed that. I knew just how to handle that. And I would make, you realize the, the history I'd be right now? <laughs> wow. I am. I wouldn't one of them. Man, I could have held my life up as a great example. Because I know just what I do. I do. My parents taught me that. Long before that, I'd know just what to do. And then tell my folks. And believe me, you talk about poop hitting the fan. <laughs> They would hit the fan. Oh, yeah. 